Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and it looks like we're looking at a word problem. Let's go ahead and read it through. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. Okay, that wasn't super important, was it? She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Okay, yeah, Kate's still messing with you. Okay, there were the triplets who were 13. Hey, this seems important, I'm getting some numbers. Billy, who was 11, Tina, 8, the twins were five and little Lizzie was two. What was the average age of her children? So I can see I've been asked to find an average. Um, an average of the children's age. And um, that is a concept also known as mean average. Mean, same thing. Uh, that can show up on... The science test, the social studies test, or the math test. So by studying this, you're actually preparing for three GED tests at once. Very nice. Now, a lot of teachers uh, teach you to find mean. They teach you add and divide. Um, that's kind of short-sighted. To find a mean, you actually have to find the total. So the total of what? Well, I'm looking for average age, so it would be the total of the children's ages here. And then after you find the total, you'll divide the total. Um by the number of items in the data set. And you might be thinking, well, what are you talking about? Number of items in the data set. Well, if I'm looking at the average age of the children, then the children are the, <clears throat> um, those items in the data set, basically their ages are, but we're going to divide here by the number of children. A lot of teachers say, oh, divide by the number of numbers. I'm not going to agree with you because here's what too many students do wrong. In fact, let's pick out, a, um, I want a red pen here. Whoops, wrong one. I want a red pen because this is what the wrong answer I always get from students who are short-sighted who learn just add and divide by the number of numbers. They always tell me this. Oh, 13, 11, 8. 5 and 2. And then they add all those numbers and they go, oh, look, that's five numbers. And they say, I'll divide by five. And this is a common error, but it's an error nonetheless. You're really not understanding what the problem says if you just automatically add the numbers um, and divide by the number of numbers without really looking at what they mean. So let's take a look here at what these numbers mean so we can make sure that we do this problem the correct way. Okay, so the first thing I see here is that we had triplets. Well, what is a triplet? Is a triplet just one child? No, obviously a triplet, I hope we know, is a set of three children who are, were all born at the same time, meaning they're all going to have the same age. So I don't have the number 13 just happening one time. I don't just have one kid who's 13. I actually have three 13-year-olds. And so because of that, we're going to have the number 13 happening three times. Now, you could be lazy. I mean, you could um, be straightforward and just add 13 plus 13 plus 13, but I'm super lazy and I know the fast way to add up numbers, the same number repeatedly, is to multiply. So I'm going to do 13 times 3. Now, I also had Billy, who was 11. Okay, that's just one kid, so I'll just put in 111. Tina, who was 8. One kid, I'll just put in 18. But look at the next statement here. The twins we're five. That's not just one child who's five. That's two children who are five. So I have two times five, uh, two five-year-olds. And little Lizzie was two. <clears throat> so notice I am finding my total age of my children, making sure that I account for repeated values. If you have a repeated value, you can add that number repeatedly or you can multiply. I don't care. They'll get you the same way, but you do need to account for those repeats. Okay. Now, when I go to divide, again, I'm not trying to divide by the number of numbers. I'm trying to divide by the number of children because I'm finding the average age of the children. And so how many children do we have? Well, the triplets, that's one, two, three. Then Billy gives me four. Tina is five. The twins will be six and seven. And little Lizzie will be eight. So I'm going to divide by total by the eight children. And the total ages divided by the eight children will give me the average age of the children. And I totally want my TI-30 excess out. It's a great calculator, but one thing you should know is 
It will perform the order of operations for you. So if you're not familiar with the order of operations, you could actually screw this problem up very easily in your calculator. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in this entire top line here, just exactly as I see it in my calculator. 13 times three plus 11 plus eight plus the two times five, the two five-year-olds, plus the two-year-olds. And I'll get this total of their ages. Their total age is 70. It's super important that you press enter to get the total age. Before you ever divide, you should press enter to get the total age. Okay, so I get that their total age is 70. And now I'll take that answer and divide by eight. So 70 divided by eight gives me 8.75. The average age of the kids is 8.75. Now, i got a lot of students who don't sit well with that number. They're like, we have to round. We have to. And um, I disagree. Why, why do you have to round? Is it par possible to be a part of a year? It sure is. It's possible to have, be 8.75 years old. Um, this is a perfectly acceptable answer. There's no need to round if you're not told to. And so there's my answer, 8.75 is the average or mean age of the children. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll be happy to answer it.